All right, the next thing that we need to do here inside both our base scene and inside that level scene um, is we need to add our player prefabs. So to do that, let's head back into the resources folder, go to prefabs, and then find the folder marked player. We're going to double click on that, and then that's going to give us access to two prefabs here, the player and the player camera. Um, so we just need to drag those out into our scene. It doesn't matter. Um, uh, the, the only thing that matters about where we put them is that they're somewhere in our level. Um, so I'm going to drag it out into my scene view, use the right click trick in the WASD to move my camera. Um, and then uh, while having it selected here in the hierarchy, I can use my movement gizmo here to move it onto the ground. Um, if you don't see the movement gizmo when you have an object selected, you can press the W key while not holding right click to pull that up. Um, the position of our player camera doesn't actually matter here um, because we're going to slot uh, with the player camera selected here. We're going to slot the player into this uh, references field here. Um, so we need to do this in both of our scenes again. So we just did this here in the desert base. So we're going to go uh, back to the environments folder again. We're going to go to desert and scenes. And then we're going to go to desert level. Make sure you hit save here if this window pops up. Um, we do want to save our scene every time we make changes. Um, but yeah, go ahead and hit save. Um, and then we're going to do the same thing here in the desert level. But we want to make sure that we put this our player kind of far away from our, um, our dungeon gate. So you can fly around the map with that right click trick using WASD and find what looks like this little gate here. Um, you can also just click on dungeon gate and then put your mouse in the scene view and tap the F key um, to fly directly to it. I can see that th the dungeon gate is our ending objective and I want my player to have to go through the whole level to get here. So I'm going to fly um, all the way back to this corner um, where the, uh, the player can more easily start. Um, and then we're gonna add the um, go to player, add that and player cam, drop it right next to him and slot it all the same. Um, once you've got that done in both of your scenes, go ahead and save and do your check setup.